This figure shows the typical stress strain curve of normal density concrete under compressions. It is basically demonstrating the response in terms of the stress over the strain when compressive force is applied to concrete cylinder. The different lines here represent the concrete of different strength. What you can see here, the stress increase about proportionally to the development of strength in concrete. The maximum stress occurs somewhere in between of 0 0.0015 to 0 0.00285 strength. The peak stress here will give the compressive strength of the concrete. To determine the modulus of elasticity, the initial tangent slope of the curve is determined. The modulus of elasticity basically increases with the strength. The deformability represents the ability of concrete to deform under the compressive force. It is basically represented by the elastic modulus or stiffness of the concrete which decrease with the increase of the strength. These are the factors affecting the concrete strength which include the water to cement ratio, specimen size, aggregate size, strength and stiffness, cement type, curing conditions, and concrete age. The diagram here shows the idealized stress strain relationship for concrete in uniaxial compressions. It shows that how the elastic modulus is determined. As the curve here is not perfectly proportional, Different person may determine the elastic modulus differently. To make it consistent, first we need to determine the FCM, which is the highest point of the stress strength curve here. The FCM represents the mean concrete strength. Next, we need to find a point of 0 0.4 times FCM which is about 40% of the FCM. Draw a horizontal line to intersect the stress strength curve and then create a inclined line passing through the 0 0.4 FCM. The gradient here will represent the elastic modulus of the concrete. This diagram shows the relationship of the strength versus the age of the concrete. There are two types of curing mechanism. First one is the moist curing, another one is steam curing. And there are two types of cement use. Type 1 is OPC. Type 3 is high early strength. What you see here is the steam curing will make the concrete hardens faster. The strength will be more or less similar. And high early strength Portland cement will have the compressive strength develop faster than the OPC type 1. Also, at the early stage of the age, the increment of the strength is faster than after day 28. After day 28, 
the increment of the strength is more or less similar. There is no significant increment in terms of the compressive strength.